Increasingly, users who are familiar with touchscreen devices have become accustomed to new ways of working and interacting with apps that have become second nature and are now influencing the ways we work on the web and in conventional computer applications. A classic example of this is the interface element that offers multiple panels that you can swipe or click to move through. With the release of FileMaker 13, a new layout object type has been added to support this kind of requirement, and it works on desktop computers running FileMaker Pro as well as on touch devices running FileMaker Go. The new layout object is called a slide control and is provided as an option grouped with the pre existing tab control object among the object tools in the status toolbar in layout mode. When I click and hold the mouse button, a pop up menu provides two options tab control, the pre existing object, and the new slide control object. If I select slide control, I can now drag a rectangle in the layout and insert a slide control object. As you can see, by default, the slide control object has a minimum of three panels. A slide control setup pane appears with several other options, including the ability to enable swipe gestures, which of course are designed to work on touch devices. And the second option is to show navigation dots, which are the dots that appear along the bottom, allowing users to either tap on a touch device or click on a computer screen to select the different panels of the slide control. We also have the ability to change the size of the dots. So in this case, defaulting to nine points, I can change the dots to be as large or as small as I require. You'll find that on a touch device, having large dots is better so that users can easily tap them with their fingers. Note that controls are also applied to allow you to remove or add panels and to navigate between the panels. However, even without the slide control setup pane showing, you can navigate between panels by clicking on the dots. In this case, I can drag objects into the panels. If I select the first panel, I can now drag my first field into the first panel. I'll change the field name so that it has a font color that we can see. And now I'll position other fields and their field labels on the other panels. If I go to browse mode, I can navigate between the different panels. And you can see that not only does the field and label on each panel come into view, but there's an animation which resembles the swiping action that you would be familiar with from using iOS and other touch devices. However, in other respects, the slide control operates similarly to a tab panel, but as well as supporting swipe gestures on touch devices, it has the distinction of using the familiar system of dots to indicate progression through the panels, plus it has the animated effect of each panel sliding out of view as the next appears.